Hi everyone, my name is Martin and I'm working in the product team at Zenfi. In this tutorial, I'll be going through steps needed to automate the process of onboarding a new employee. So this process took me around 16 minutes to automate and for that reason, I'll be fast forwarding the video. So first I created a Zenfi flow, named it and then I connected this to a Google form as I wanted this flow to kick off and start when someone submits that Google form. So as you can see here, I had already created this Google form which was used to capture the necessary information for a new employee, which would be submitted by someone in the HR team. So this form can be adjusted to fit your business needs. So from here, I went back to Zenfi to uh, continue to create this flow. So now under the designer, I dragged and dropped the necessary actions needed for our business to automate this process. I'll go through these steps in more detail later on in this video. However, something I want to emphasize here is that everything we did here can be adjusted to fit your business requirements. So from here, we can now look at it in more detail. So let's look at it one by one. So first, I'm going to get the hiring manager's details and then I'm going to get his or her approval. So I'm going to assign a task to uh, him or her. So based on their approval, we can either go through the false branch, which will uh, inform the HR about the rejection, and then we'll terminate the flow, or we can go through the true branch. And what we'll do is first create a random password for this new employee, then we'll create a new directory for them, and then we'll assign a task for the IT for the equipment request, then we'll have to generate an offer letter based on a template, and then from here, I'll set up a one-on-one -on -one calendar invite with their manager, and then finally send the personalized welcome email. So now we are going to go in a bit more detail on what exactly I did. So first, I'm going to get the hiring manager's details, which will be based on the email that was submitted in the Google form. I'm going to assign a task to them using their personal details and with details of the new employee, such as uh, the, their name, the, the salary, the start date. And now I'm going to enable a reminder to be sent for a maximum of two times. So from here, I'm going to configure the if condition, which will be based on the outcome of the assigned HR manager. So now let's look at the rejected branch. So what we'll do is we'll inform the HR about the rejection of this new employee. This will be done by another personalized email. So we'll include information here, such as uh, the rejected employee details, as well as uh, which hiring manager rejected this candidate. And then this information will be useful for the HR team if they wanted to reach out to the hiring manager. And then from here, we will terminate this flow. So now let's actually go to the more interesting branch, the true branch. So first we'll generate a random password for this new employee, and then we'll create a new user for them, which will be based on what was submitted on the Google form, such as the first name, the last name, or uh, the department. And then from here, we are going to assign this task to the IT team to fulfill the equipment request. So we'll specify a uh, due date, which will be the start date of this new employee, as well as we'll actually specify what exact laptop is being requested, again, which was based from the Google form. So now an interesting and powerful thing we can do with Zenfi is to generate a dynamic offer letter. So we have a template for these offer letters, but here we have to specify the parameters that will get changed with curly brackets. So you will have to upload this template to your Google Drive and select it here. And now you can see that those parameters from the offer letter that had curly brackets around them. So now we can pass to them dynamic values that we'll be getting from the Google form submission. So here I'm passing the name, the start date, and the manager, and the annual salary. This can be modified or changed as you like. Then I say I want to generate a PDF and I want to save this in a folder in my Google Drive. I have to specify what I want to call each of these new offer letters. So next we'll be sharing this offer letter to the new employee. We will now be setting up an event on the calendar with the manager as well as the new employee. We have set the name of the meeting as well as a bit of a personal description. And we can also dynamically set the event uh, dates and time if we want. And then finally, we'll be sending a welcome letter to the new employee to welcome them to the company. We'll be sharing the username and password, as well as a, a link to the offer letter. 
So once we have uh, finalized this welcome email, we, have, we can uh, actually publish this flow as we have finished it and we can uh, run it to test it. So I've already started filling in a form for a new employee who was called uh, Brad Pitt. I'm specifying the necessary information such as the hiring manager and what laptop we're requesting for them. So now that we have submitted this form, we can come back to Zenfi and click on the recent run items from the menu to see that this flow is executing. So if you remember, the first step is to get the manager's approval. So we can see an approval step email being sent and based on the outcomes of this, we'll go through the true or false branch. So now if we go back to Zenfi and refresh the run, we can see uh, and now a task has been given to the IT team to fulfill the equipment request and it is, if we refresh it one more time, uh, a new email should be sent to this new employee. So this email is personalized to this new employee and as you can see the offer letter is attached uh, which would, should also have been stored in the uh, Google Drive folder, which you can see here. And uh, that's it. So hopefully I've managed to explain to you how simple and easy it is to automate the process of onboarding a new HR employee and also how this can be achieved in a few minutes without writing any code. As always, your feedback will be greatly appreciated by the team. So please let us know of any features that is missing or any features that you'll find useful by adding it to the Zenfi user voice or you can email me directly. Thank you and take care.